Hello everyone! Today we are going to be talking about um, if you've caught yourself trying to be interesting when you audition, when you're going to a casting office uh, again nowadays, or when you're taping, are you trying to be interesting? And um, so, you know, of course you are working hard to get some auditions and when you have one or when you have a self-tape you're excited and of course you want to be interesting because you want to book the part you want the casting director to notice you uh, you want them to like what you're doing you want it to be also there's other actors so you want it to be probably interesting at least to be comparable or possibly more interesting than other actors so that you're being you know noticed and you're standing out and uh, you can book the job and you can enjoy acting right and um, it's totally understandable um, it might not always happen that you're feeling that you're interesting and it's a flop and that's frustrating and so you may go to acting class or you may read acting books or you may try another mentor and another technique and another mentor and another guru to be more and more interesting to improve yourself to get better as an actor and if you have been uh, listening to me for a while or for a bit you may know that i'm not gonna go in that direction um and i'm actually going to ask you to catch yourself when you're trying to be interesting because that is the one thing that will not make you interesting is if you're trying to be interesting so actually um if you are auditioning you want to be interested in the character's needs you want to be interested in your character's life in what they want in what they need in what they are trying to achieve the second you are trying to be interesting you're in your ego you're in the actor part of you that's trying to book the job that's trying to look good that's trying to be liked that's trying to be validated that's trying to please what you think the casting director wants so your energy as you can see is out there being interested means you're present, means you have given yourself up for the character. And when you're becoming the character, it means your energy needs to be interested in what they are trying to get to, trying to achieve, needing. And so you defend them. So it means your energy is 100% devoted to being interested in being this character in this moment, trying to get that thing. If instead of doing this, interested in this, me being this character, trying to get this thing, part of my energy is right here where I'm trying to be interesting. It means I'm observing myself. It means I'm trying to get to the outcome, to the result, to the moment after. I'm trying to manipulate the outcome of what I'm doing here. But I'm not doing anything here if I'm over there. If I'm over there, trying to get validated and loved and like and trying to book i'm not here so if your job is to be fully alive as the character and part of your aliveness part part of your energy is trying to influence the outcome is trying to manipulate is trying to be liked is trying to please you're not here you're not being this person this character who wants something so it's really about when you're catching your energy, trying to be interesting, really notice that and go, oh, okay, my energy is not present right now. If it's not present, it's, it's not in reality. It's delusional because all there is is this moment, right? So, um, oh, I'm trying to be interesting. I'm losing myself. I'm abandoning myself. I'm abandoning my character. I'm abandoning this moment. I'm abandoning the story. I'm not present anymore. I'm trying to be interesting. I'm trying to sell myself. I'm away. So notice that and come back here. Here's where your job is. Here's where your responsibility is in being interested in the moment that my character is going through and trying to get to. 
being interested put your energy right here right now in what's in front of you in the scene trying to be interesting takes you out of the scene out of character puts you right in your ego so it's either going to be your character that you're going to give your attention to and your energy to and your life to or your ego whichever one you're going to give attention to is going to win right if i'm going to give my attention to my ego and i'm going to try and be interesting my character does not have my attention so I'm not present. I'm not here. I can't be seen by the casting director. What they'll see and they'll notice is me trying to be interesting, trying to look good, trying to be loved, trying, you know, to brag. Right? If I'm putting my energy in my character's needs and not in my ego, for some reason I can't match Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> I don't know how people can see both my hands. Oh my God. All right. So if I'm putting my energy in the character and not in my ego, not in the result, not in being validated, well, then I'm interested in that moment. But if I'm really interested in that moment, then guess what? Casting director sees me in that moment. If I'm interested in the other one and trying to be interesting, they can't see me in this moment. And they're only looking here. They're looking, is there a human being embodying this character, defending this character's needs? If I'm trying to be interesting, I'm not here. I'm over there trying to look good. Here's where it's at. So if you're noticing and catching yourself trying to be interesting, catch it. Know that you're doing that not because you're a terrible person, not because you're a terrible artist, but you've been conditioned to please. You've been raised to be liked, be good, be right. You've been raised to please. So it's just an old muscle. It's an old pattern. It's conditioning that is taking you there. But it has nothing to do with your truth. So it's not your fault. It's a result of conditioning. What there is to do in order to make sure your energy is only ever interested in your character's needs, in being interested and not being trying to be interesting, then you need to do the work on un of unconditioning, undoing all of the formatting, all of the education, all of the culture that sits on top of you, all of the conditioning, so that you can emerge out of that conditioning and actually be you, devote your heart and soul to your character's needs. Right? If you want to do that, let us know. Send us a DM. We'll send you some information. If you want a free resource about that, in the link in the bio and in the about section, we have a training called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor. So you have a chance at being great. Snatch it. It's for free. And it'll help you to start moving in that direction. If you want to go all the way in that direction and absolutely move through your conditioning so that you can emerge and reveal yourself and your truth and your freedom, then get in touch with us. We'll send you some information. We'll have a conversation with you to see if this is right for you. And then we'll move on from there. Okay. All right. So let me see if we have any questions. Um, all right. Well, no questions. I have some agreements and some claps and some hearts. So thank you for that. Um, and I will see you again on Wednesday for our interview. All right. Thank you, guys. This was a short and sweet one, but straight to the point.